advanced treatment for titubation. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, let's talk about it. Okay, so what is titubation? It is a, a type of essential tremor in which there's rhythmic movement of the head or the trunk in an oscillating pattern that has a rhythm to it. If you're here watching this video, I don't need to explain it to you. What I would like to explain to you is that it is shown by science to be associated with an underlying EEG, electroencephalogram, brain pattern. And that brain pattern is shown to be one of excessive slowing, sometimes low power, and sometimes, most times, comorbid, extra fast speed, power. So let me just break that down and tell you what I mean by that. There are five main speeds that our brain uses to be able to get into the states that we need to across our day and our life. The five speeds are extra slow speed to keep you in sleep, slow speed to shift you in sleep, medium speed if you are lucky enough to be able to chill out because many people aren't. There's perfectly fast speed for calm focus and there's extra fast speed for stress and anxiety. Now, the brain pattern associated with titubation is one of excessive slow speed, of theta and delta excessive slowing. There's also a low power pattern, and what low power means is possibly if you have suffered from a mild traumatic brain injury or a concussion or a head injury, um, sometimes people who have developmental, neurodevelopmental disorders and they're born with ADD or ADHD, if there's any type of um, perinatal or difficulty during birth, that can result in a low power pattern that you may never even know is there. So that is also a culprit. And then what happens is because your brain is running low and slow, there's also excessive fastness. So fast drive overdrive kicks in to offset the low and slow pattern. What that creates is breaking and gassing of the nervous system. So what happens in terms of being able to process information, whether that be sensory or motor, is that then you're not able to do what you want to do in terms of how you feel, how you perform, and how you behave. So in terms of titubation, it means that the nervous system has uncontrolled motor movements because it's not processing the information in real time. What's the solution? Is you have to bring all that slowing down. It's like taking the foot off the brake in the brain while we also put the foot on the gas perfectly. And if there is that comorbid anxiety piece, then you have to bring that stressy anxiety speed down. So we know that stress and anxiety can make titubation worse so can fatigue. So if you just think about it logically, when we have more of that extra fast speed and we have more of that extra slow speed, your symptoms are going to be worse. That's why neurofeedback is an excellent solution in terms of treatment to be able to reduce the brain pattern that's at the core of essential tremor or titubation for people. Okay, I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions about that, please email me at trish at drtrishlee.com because I'm happy to answer any questions and to set you up with a neurofeedback provider in your own community. And I'm, I also provide services across the world. So give me a shout out and I'm happy to help you. And remember, control your brain.